Welcome back, this is Tredis with another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise. We're in week 15 of the first season. We're going to be playing away against the Buffalo Bills and that is going to be challenging in all, in all the wrong ways. Defense is a solid 88 and it's going to be Von Miller again. We know the team, we lost against the team um, already. I'm going to take a quick look here. 21-27, which was actually a bit on the soft side. Um, we we weren't doing too badly, um, but uh, again, it was just mistakes all around. Uh, two uh, had three interceptions, two sacks. So that was just it was just a very tough game. I doubt it'll be much easier when we are the away team, especially against a team like the Buffalo Bills. Let's take a quick look at the roster. All right, I'm gonna go through this quite quickly because to be honest, I will only be checking if there is any injuries. I know the team, um, we already went over the team the last time in detail. Uh, it's, a, it's an elite QB. It is a, an elite wide receiving core. Uh, the tight end is super solid, same thing. Uh, the, the offensive line is super tough. Uh, there's hardly any weak points in here. There's no starter is injured at the moment. Uh, left edge is Greg Rousseau. All right. And then right edge, Von Miller. These two are deadly. Ed Oliver is still here. Brandon Williams. Nobody's injured. Pernell McPhee, left outside linebacker. Right outside linebacker, Tremaine Edmonds. Was a nightmare. Matt Milano. Tredavious White. Theron Johnson. AJ Bowie. Kyrie Elam. Micah Hyde is not injured, another elite defensive player, and Jordan Poyer is also fit. So we're facing a fully fit team. They they now have our uh, previous kicker, Jason Sanders. That was a trade. Matt Aresa, currently there's some nasty things to be heard of him. Um, and he might have his contract terminated, some sexual uh, assault allegations. But uh, yeah, that's not uh, not something that we'll cover or solve here. So all we can do is just take a look at how we will deal with the team. I think the short pass is basically our best bet. Um, if we can cover that, uh, we're going to go in with full pass, but we will be splitting. Although I do fear an injury here and injuries to our first team are are terrible because we just don't have the depth. We're gonna go with throw it short, although I'd rather go with a blitz counter, maybe. Because a faster pocket degradation is not really something that I really wanna see, but we're gonna go with the suggestion, why not? We're gonna go with half pads. We're gonna go with a half pads and splits, of course. I don't wanna risk any injuries. The weekly game plan goes. What are the targets? 200 rushing yards. No, we're going to go for an interception. Allow 24 points or less. We're going to try that. 250 offensive yards. And we're going to go with... I don't know. Let's go the 15 first downs. All right, off to training we go. All right, defense has completed training. We do see a small uh, rise in fatigue. And uh, looking over here at uh, the offense, same thing, but no injuries at the moment. We had a period where we had so many injuries. That was really nasty. And uh, we don't have any upgrades to players. Oh, <laughs> that's what, uh, what going for half pads and splits will do to you. We will improve the defense as much as we can with the, the few points that we do collect. Um, this is absolutely no season for gathering points. Um, let me take a quick look at the roster just uh, to make sure that everything is as we would like it to be. Does look like it. All right, let's go over here, defense. 
we are slowly getting better but still morale is dragging us down it is really really difficult once you get that downward spiral going um, as soon as that's running there's hardly any chance to be successful all right let us start the game and let's give him let's try and give him a fight i mean not much more than that Buffalo Bills home stadium here, looking pretty nice actually. Miami Dolphins are the home, uh, are the away team of course, and uh, the Bills are going to be playing in their red jerseys. I actually don't know why, because their blue should work quite nicely versus our white away jerseys. But then again, never mind that. Here come the Jets. Not the New York Jets, but the real Jets. And here's the Miami Dolphins onto the field. And to be honest, I am absolutely expecting the worst. The absolute worst, because the the Bills are such a stacked team. Um, I'm not even looking at the defensive side, uh, the offensive side. I'm just looking at the defense, because those are the players that we will be facing. And uh, yeah. It's just just look at that stacked group of players right there Miles Gaskin Tremaine Edmonds just shoves him backwards no real gain five yards is the pickup but no first down It'd be a little bit crazy to expect that here we go number 98 no getting through Let's go with an inside zone split. There's those two safeties back there who are honestly to go. Oh man. Can we just get past that dude? Fourth and one. And we have to punt. I don't like that in the in the slightest, but uh, there's nothing we can do. I'm not gonna risk. No risk anything here. All right, Igbenogany cannot get past him, past his blocker. Uh, Stefan Diggs is looking forward to receive passes from Josh Allen. All right, that's a lot of logos at the moment. Our defense manages to stop them, which is very nice. We're going to start with the Raheem Mostert towards the right. We have uh, momentum, not in full effect, but more or less. Jesus Christ, man. Tremaine Edmonds is a beast. He's so large. We're going to go with a run towards the left here. Miles Gaskin. And there we are again. Tremaine Edmonds. Is there a space on the pitch where he's not running around? If so, could I please be informed of that space? I have those symbols. Well, that is nice. Wow. What a perfectly timed pass by my quarterback. There we go. We're going to punt with Thomas Morstead now left hand side punt javelin goodry does touch him but i think we just got away with that and another is that another stop by our defense i have to say i'm super impressed super impressed by them way team offensive play art can be incorrect that is fantastic that is fantastic. There we go. First runner is a... Oh, Lord. <laughs> Three defenders. Yeah, Josh. Keep it down. No need to hype the people up even more. Let's try a zone fake jet. After all, that worked so nicely. And we're just being shoved back more and more 
Third and ten. Four yards on the pickup. Third and ten now. And I mean, I am thinking of maybe going for a pass play, but it'll be nasty because the play art is incorrect. Can't hold on to the ball. Connection was there, but um, no stability in the catch. Spring the man down. Around the 46. At some point in time, we will not be able to hold them anymore. I mean, defense, I don't know what they've had for breakfast, but I want to have that. Because it's all squiggly lines and the squiggly lines are wrong as well. So we're going to go for a run. Can we please go for a run outside of the bounds here. Second quarter. Four minutes and seven. Let us go with this here. Halfback quick base. Distorted and wrong. Miles Gaskin. Let's go for another run. Yeah. Two yards on the pickup. Ed Oliver does suffer an injury here. Is that going to help us? Not a lot. Let me assure you of that. Because we're still facing th those two tough players. So what are we going to do? gonna run of course we're gonna run for our lives but Tremaine Edmonds again on us that is a big dude Wilson and Kasiki luckily I know these plays by heart but uh still annoying slam bam there we go Greg Rousseau why are those dudes so big? It's scary, man. I mean, our defense held them four times now. How many more can we get done? Two minutes, 41. And they hold them again. I mean, I'm honestly amazed. I'm super happy, but I'm amazed. One minute, 45 still to play. And I think we're going to shove back as far as we can go now. Ed Oliver is back again. Let's go the mesh spot here. A little bit more space. Might work a sicky. Just one a receiver to hold on to the ball for once. That is not happening. And the punts are going to get shorter and shorter. We need to... We need to get out of here now. Let's try a slip screen. Moss hurt. I don't see the symbol, thus I cannot prepare for the snap. And is he going to get away? Of course, he's not. Fourth and six. And they know that they've got us now. I mean, we've been holding on for dear life now. But uh, they've pushed us back into our own end zone there we go at the 47 will our defense be able to hold them once more no nope, not this time not this time so let's go how many more runs can we attempt here Six yards. Jalen Waddle picks up an injury. And that is terrible. That truly is terrible. Let's hope it's nothing bad. Drive wide corner. It's going to be our next move. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for that one because I don't see the routes. There we go. Wilson. Safe catch here. 39 seconds. I'm going to call a timeout now. I just want to get into field goal range. And that is a big ask, I know. Dislocated shoulder. No. 
Oh, in my mind, to be honest, I really feel like uh, I really feel like Jalen Waddle is a little bit more valuable than Tyree Kill. In my mind, that's the way it works. Right, we're gonna go like this, Preston Williams, and then we're gonna put Woods here, who we brought in from the practice squad. Yeah, I think I think that looks like a like a sensible. I don't remember what play I chose. Good lord, I re I forgot which play I chose. First and ten. Let's go with the Dolphins corner. Bench switch. Hill and Preston Williams. So I think I'm gonna go with Hill, of course. I will go with one more play action crossers. Because if I can get Hill into into space then I think that is a good ch <laughs> we always get the ball hold on to the ball and then we just drop it and I think this this has to be a glitch or a bug because this is happening so often uh, the opposing 29 18 seconds to go all right, third quarter, four minutes, 26. Zone split week, left-hand side run. And we're not getting the momentum away. Not getting the momentum away. There we go. Ooh, Raheem Mostert, man, what a run. All right, that was good. 420. Now we have an injury for a Bills player. Left-hand side run Gaskin. We're just going to keep pounding, man. I see no reason not to keep doing that. It is... It is what it is. We can't... We can't do much else, to be honest. I can only try and... Keep pounding the rock just to just to get get going, get as far as we can. Third and six. Do we go for strong curl? I was I am looking for the where is it? Let's try a mesh spot here. Kasiki and Smythe. Two big tight ends. Maybe we can Maybe they are able to get something going here. And it actually looks like it. Stepping out of bounds here in the third quarter. And that was Von Miller with his feared move. And actually, Kisiki did well on that one. Let's go the halfback. Wham. Left hand side run. Raheem Mosser. 2 minutes 58. Off we go. Avoiding quite a few tackles there. Gonna go with a left hand side run here, Miles Gaskin. Ooh, play art is not distorted anymore. I mean, it's still wrong, but it's not distorted. That is. I'm gonna take that. And it's distorted again. That was a short lived joy. Kasiki actually getting pretty far. We're at the seven yard line. Well done, man. That was. That was honestly not bad. We're gonna go with a. Let's try a slam. Let's try a halfback slam here. We're just gonna try and. Push it in. I mean, how far can we go? Two yards. Two yards is what we can do. Do we try the gun slants? I mean, 
or am I get raging again? Yeah. And that is a pitch. The pig is white at the 8 yard line. And that is typical of our season. We work hard, we get up the pitch, and then we cannot turn it into cannot turn it into something useful. We could have drawn the game right there. But then, and I, I will admit it, that was a panic throw because that was not a good pass. That was not a good pass. That's on me. Try to change direction, go towards the right, but of course, this is not going to be working now. Can I do an audible? The play action read here, Cedric Wilson. Yeah, that was the intention. Hit the gate rate stand. Why can I all of a sudden not punt? Why is it not suggesting that? This is insanity. Absolute insanity, as always. We work hard, we get so far. And then we just then it just gets taken away. And this is this is what, what really pains me. Because it feels like a steal. It feels like a steal was my mistake and it wasn't it wasn't the opposing team that did the work. 0 and 14. Another loss. We never got going. 34 passing yards for Tua. One interception. That was deadly. Uh, we tried the running game. And Raheem Mostert did what he could. Miles Gaskin did what he could. But that is everything. All the numbers here are pathetic. I mean, we managed to limit them because our defense was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. I mean, if Tremaine Edmonds, right? What a freaking beast. Nine tackles, four tackles for a loss. I'm amazed that he didn't have 17 sacks. Davies White with that interception. All right, guys, it's the home stretch. Three more games, and then it's rebuilding time. I am, I'm over and over again, I am speechless at how terrible we are doing, at how terrible this first season is going we managed one win, but apart from that, we've been smacked silly by all of the teams. It is super tough. I mean, <laughs> this division and our setting here is just so much more tough than, than the setting that we had with the with the Rams. But it doesn't matter. That's no excuse to to pack it in. And I mean, we managed to get to the to the seven yard line. We're at the five yard line, and then we. Then I chose the pass play. I don't, I can't, I really, I don't know why. That I'm just sitting here shaking my head and I'm just frustrated <laughs> like hell. I'm going to cut the episode here. Uh, please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel for more of my masochistic Miami Dolphins franchise. Of, of maybe following me along the route to being broken mentally and physically and, 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 and psychologically. Um, but yeah it's just it just hurts uh we could have done better in this game truly could have um but we gave it away towards the end um as always next week is going to be the packers then the patriots away and then the jets at home if we could get two wins that would count as a success for me uh avoiding uh the worst season result ever compared to the miami dolphins 20 2007 season and uh yeah not much more to say apart from thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time.